We're here with Washington State's fine defensive end, Ron Stone. Or Ron, is it RJ? Which one is it? You go by both. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of whatever you're feeling in the moment. You call me RJ, Ron Stone Jr. I'm okay with both. That's great. You might have one of the most, I guess, outgoing personality in sports. Forget college football. I've read, read where some of your teammates say, boy, he talked too much, but then he kind of grew on me. Where does that come from? Oh, probably my mom. You know, she, she's, she talks just as much as I do. You know, my sisters as well. Everyone in my, in my family kind of has a big personality. <laughs> so I just kind of grew up in that. And uh, that's who I am now, I guess. That's great. Uh, and then you get asked this all the time. Who's the best athlete in the family? Your dad played 13 years <laughs> in the NFL. And I think two sisters who played volleyball. Who's the best athlete? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a pretty pretty tough competition. You know, it's, it's changing every day. But, you know, it's still you got to go, go with Pops. You know, 13 years in the NFL is kind of hard to say. I'm better yeah. than that. How did, how did he rub off on you, just uh, football-wise? Yeah, he's been – so just about as long as I've been involved with sports, he's been right there with me. Well, you know, whether it was flag football before I started Pop Warner, Pop Warner, he was my coach. Um, even when I played basketball, he was one of my coaches. And then as soon as we got to high school, he was still my coach. So, yeah, college is the first time I haven't had him around. He was your coach in high school, what, assistant coach? or? Yeah, he was an assistant coach. So he was the offensive line coach at my high school. Um, so like it was kind of him and I going back and forth competing every day. That's great. Uh, well, the, the Cougs started out one and three, you're back up to three and three. What's it been like these last couple of weeks? Yeah, it's, it's been, uh, been really promising and really exciting to see that we have the ability to win games and that, you know, uh, a lot of the things that we weren't doing in the start of the season that we're finally being able to put together and finish out those games, you know, instead of just playing one half. Now we're playing a complete four quarters. Yeah. And, you, and you, you've been, you know, to come to, to Pullman and play at Wazoo, it's kind of out of the way. We all know that. What's the experience been like so far? Yeah, um, it's definitely, it was definitely real different at first. You know, I, I went from being able to drive 20 minutes back in the, the Bay Area to go do anything to 20 minutes and now I'm in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, <laughs> um, so definitely a culture shock for sure. But it, the city definitely grows on you, you know, and, you know, it's one of the best environments, I think, in the country when it comes to college experiences and things like that. You get all four seasons, all the people are great. And it's just, yeah, it's nothing more than school and football out here. Yeah. You bet you, once you leave town, you better have enough gas to get to Spokane. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, <laughs> you'll be in a lot, of, yeah, a lot of trouble if you don't. Uh, what about your season? 28 tackles so far, six and a half tackles for loss three sacks. How do you evaluate yourself so far this season? Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure how that works. You know? <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the benchmark for right. the game seven, you know, I'm not sure what the, where I'm supposed to be at for game seven, you know. Um, I definitely think that uh, there's a couple plays I could have made and there's, there's plays that I, that I did make, you know. Um, I think there's always room for improvement no matter who you are and what you're doing in the season. So, I mean, but I don't know. I'd like to say I'm doing fairly well. I think I'm not <laughs> not too sure how you look at that. I will. I will tell you that those numbers halfway through the season are very good. So okay. you're, you're you're doing fine. Uh, uh, how did you fair. get from San Jose to uh, as we said the Palouse? What was the recruiting process like? Yeah, so I got recruited by uh, Coach Leach and Alex Brinch's staff back in like that 2017. They were just, yeah, they, they were really good. I, I really enjoyed that coaching staff. Um, they came down and visited. I went and I took my official, and I really enjoyed it here. You know, it was the first time here, there was a little bit of snow on the ground. I was like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed the chemistry that the team had, and I, I kind of liked the idea of trying something new and going from, you know, a big city to a little college town and seeing what that was like. You played so, to, yeah. You've played for a couple of offensive-minded coaches there, there who are who are free spirits to say the least. What was it like transitioning, I guess, from from Mike Leach, who we know a lot about, you know, to, to Coach Rolo, who we know just a little bit less about? Right. Yeah, it was definitely it was different for all of us. You know, it yeah. was something you didn't really at first when it happened, 
and nobody knows what to expect. So I were like, oh, what is this guy going to be like? What is, is he? Are we going to like him? Are we not going to like him? Are we like, you know, is, what's his offense? Like, and there's just a lot of unanswered questions. Um, but as soon as he came in, you know, he kind of just was very open with us. And we all, like, we have our, he has our back. We have his back for everything. Now he's, he's done a great job, like, earning the trust of the guys. And the guys have done a great job of earning his trust. And I think he has a really great relationship with a lot of mostly everyone individually on the team. That's great. Um, I would urge everybody to go and you know, online and see your latest video. I, what do they call it? The rattlesnake? I don't know, but it's hard to describe unless you see it. How? Give us a brief synopsis of the video, why you did it, and why you're so good at it. You've got an acting career ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the video is... We've been doing uniform reveals like every week, right? Just to show everyone what we're going to be wearing that week. And so our media team had a, like a little funny idea. And so basically I go in and our mascot, Butch the, you know, Butch the Cougar is in the room. I go in, I'm like, hey, Butch, can I talk to you? And I basically go on telling him how I need to be in the next uniform reveal. That I'm like, a super important deal. I need to be in the uniform reveal and how everyone's going to love it. And then it goes on to Butch being shook. And I just kind of shake his hand. I'm like, oh, you're the best. And in the background of the video, you see uh, Ricky Baker, the rattlesnake. That's what we call him. He's actually doing the uniform reveal in the background. So, it was, yeah, it was a quick little video that was really fun to shoot. Yeah, you, And um, it turned out really great. Yeah, you're, you're a natural. I mean, I, you know, you and, you and Butch deserve an Emmy or something. I mean, <laughs> you, you have the advantage of talking. He can't talk. So that, that was really good. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we get some more things put together so the media team's been doing great this year and i'm really excited about everything i've been putting out that's good what, what's ahead for the cougars how do you guys feel about yourselves the rest of the season yeah it's uh you know it's um we like to take it week by week so this week we got stanford coming up and they're kind of in the same position as us you know three and three and it's kind of who's going to take that next step you know who's going to go positive who's going to go um who's going to get the next win and it's kind of just making sure that we take every game individually for what it is, you know, taking the lessons from the week before and building off of them. You know, it's the, that Oregon State game last week was one of the best games I think we've had as a team since the, the uh, new staff has got here, since the old staff has got here. You know, we played a really complete game on both sides of the ball, and it was just really exciting to see that, hey, when we're all do, doing what we can do, we could be really good, you know, and just – building off that and learning off that and letting that drive yeah, over. How, gratif next week how gratifying was that the way that. you guys won Oregon state was kind of the it team in the PAC 12. And then you guys rally late. Yeah, it was, it was super exciting. You know, it was just one of those things where you could feel a difference on the team that you didn't have weeks before, you know, it's, Hey, we're in a close game, but that's okay because we could win this game. You know, there was no, lack of focus or lack of intent or confidence in the in on that sideline or in our team so yeah it's something you look forward to that's great ron stone best of luck to you and best of luck to the cougars the rest of the season thanks so much thank you for having me thank you go cougs